Hello student. In this segment, I'm going to teach you how to record your observations into the table below. For example, your zinc cation test. You refer to your notes for QA under zinc and see the effect of aqueous sodium hydroxide with zinc cation, which is white precipitate soluble in excess giving a colorless solution so you write down exactly what is written in your notes for qa so white precipitate form soluble in excess sodium hydroxide giving a colorless solution For the effect of aqueous ammonia, you will write according to the table stated. White precipitate formed soluble in excess aqueous ammonia giving a colorless solution. Check one more time that you have written the correct keywords. As for the name of the precipitate, you just need to look at the cation that you are testing, which is now zinc. So the name of the precipitate will be zinc hydroxide. Okay, let's do another example, which is copper. Again, look at your QA practical notes under copper. See, when cation is reacted with aqueous sodium hydroxide. A light blue precipitate, insoluble in excess. So you write down, light blue precipitate formed, insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide. Full stop. As with the effect of aqueous ammonia with cation, you write down, light blue precipitate formed, soluble in excess, giving a dark blue solution. As for the name of the precipitate, it will be the cation that you're testing, which is copper 2 hydroxide. You can continue with the rest of the cation recording.